Tom Halliwell podcast free, the 90-10. That's putting 90% of your practice time on skills and 10% on songs. Um, yes, I said it, 10% on songs. Now that's, uh, before we get into that, uh, I want to just make some quick announcements. First of all, this podcast is now on iTunes. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go to iTunes and subscribe and you'll be getting a weekly podcast into your, e uh, into your inbox. Okay, because I've definitely made the commitment now to do these podcasts once a week. If you notice, I don't know if you've been following me on YouTube for a while or not, but if you have been, you'll notice that my channel has all of a sudden been blowing up um, in terms of content. I've been pushing out like two to three videos a week uh, for the past month which is, uh, I'm really glad about it because six months ago, the position I was in, it just wasn't really that possible to be putting out lots of free content on YouTube and then, of course, doing these podcasts. And I know I started the podcast thing about six months ago. Um, so podcast one's already out, podcast two, was, is already out it, six months ago and now six months later we've got podcast free um, but now they're going to be definitely coming at you once a week so definitely subscribe on iTunes for that anyway so today's topic is the 9010 um, so that's putting 90% of your practice time on skills, 10% on songs. Yes, for all your intermediates and advanced guitarists out there, this concept's really only for beginners. Um, but we might come on to some, some things in, later on in the podcast about how we can apply it to intermediates and advanced players. But mainly this is for beginners this episode so where it comes down to is I see so many youtubers so many guitar teachers even videos about you know basically they're advocating a message to beginner guitarists listen guitar is easy all you got to do is play these four simple chords once you play these four simple chords you can go ahead and play um, you know a hundred songs and it's correct if you learn you know if you learn four chords um, let's just say G uh, C G a minor and F that's a one four six five uh, sorry one five six four in a key of C yes you can play many songs you can play let it be you can play Jason Moran's I'm yours you can play um, Beyonce songs Shakira songs you can play Rihanna songs a lot of pop songs and a lot of you know rock songs now where I have the problem with is saying to beginner guitarists you know just learn these four simple chords and all is well you can play your favorite songs because for a beginner guitarist to play these four chords is hard work um, especially if you never touched a guitar it's not as simple as just playing four chords it's thinking about your third finger second finger and first finger over multiple strings and then changing each chord then they got to think about the right hand strumming and for an intermediate guitarist and even advanced guitarist these things don't seem very complicated to us you know a G chord for me is easy playing a C chord is easy strumming a C chord and strumming a G chord is easy but um, that's because we spent years doing it and we've now automated uh, the process so basically it's in our subconscious when we're playing it you know we can just drum in rhythm in time um, and change chords and that's all you know we're doing that all subconsciously because I can speak while doing it anyway to a complete beginner though it's not the same experience right 
they have to think about every single finger then they have to think about changing the chords then they've got to think about keeping in time then they've got to think about strumming the right rhythm so really this this episode or this podcast is is really about those uh, YouTube videos advocating yeah play four simple chords and all as well um, I, I, I say guitar is a skill set and that means you know it's like boxing it's like mountain climbing I, I posted this on Facebook a couple of uh, days ago about that you know why is it with mountain climbing um, sorry, you with mountain climbing, you wouldn't just go ahead and climb a big mountain on your first lesson. What you would do would be, you know, you'd spend some time building up your skills, uh, you'd spend some time, you know, climbing some small walls, and then build up to those bigger ones. So for me, or f- from the way I see it, is... If I went mountain climbing and on my first lesson the instructor said, you know what, to climb this Mount Everest or to climb a big mountain, yeah, you know, it requires some technical skills, but let's not worry about the skills for now. Let's just uh, go and climb that mountain and yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, you'll pick it up. You just need to practice or you just need to, you know, have some experience in climbing that mountain. I think that would be highly irresponsible uh, for that instructor who's teaching that student. And sure, you might get someone who's naturally good at climbing mountains and maybe he might get to a certain point, but for most people, because it's a skill and they haven't got the skill to do it, uh, most people will kill themselves, fall off or you know, injure themselves heavily. So that's why I guess mountain climbers don't do that. Just like boxing. Boxing's a skill set as well and you wouldn't have on your first boxing lesson you wouldn't have the instructor put you in the room with a a guy who's been doing boxing for a while and say, you know what, yeah, you know, the jab and the right hook, we already kind of know it, we're just going to put you in a ring to, you know, see see how you are, first of all. Uh, Again, don't worry about the technical skills of boxing, Uh, just focus on fighting. That's, to me, that's the same as a guitar teacher saying to a student, you know what, this is just four chords. yeah, let's just let's just play it. It's, it's simple chords. Let's just play that song. Um, the beginner, as as we all know, the beginner tries to play it um, very slow with the chord changes. The fingers are not going in the right direction. The strings are buzzing. Um, the right hand, you know, the strumming pattern, and even if it's just four quarter notes, sometimes that's even hard for a beginner. And the beginner just ends up feeling frustrated, confused, and feels that guitar is not for him, when in reality, um, it's the reason why he's not playing that song is because he hasn't built the skills to do it. So this is where the the 90-10 concept comes in. And that is, as a beginner, if you focus 90% of your time on skills and 10% on songs, you will be playing your favorite songs. You will be playing uh, songs much, much quicker than just starting out learning songs. It seems ironic uh, that, you know, if you focus on just skill building and then focus on songs, you can play these songs quicker rather than just starting out on songs straight away and and the problem I also have is a lot of people are, are talking about you know why don't you learn songs and if you learn songs then you're gonna learn the skills because these songs have the skills in them and I have a big problem with that because um, in order for you to play uh, these songs you need the skills first if you try and flip it around the other way and play the song to get the skills um, 
let's just say this, a lot of songs use multiple different skills. And without really understanding each skill and isolating them, it's gonna be very hard for you. And so this is when you get the self-taught player who maybe he's been playing for a couple of years. Um, I've certainly had quite a few. And they've been playing for a couple of years and their chord changing's off. Uh, they, they always change chord like a beat too early. Or usually with self-taught players, they're great at, at, um, they're great with chords and they're usually great with strumming. But when it comes to, to uh, playing scales and arpeggios, they're very weak at. And this is the problem you get is when you learn chords, you're basically, uh, you haven't got a balanced skill set. It's just like a boxer practicing a jab and a right hook and not paying attention that you can do a left hook and you can do a, a right, uh, an uppercut and things like that. So um, I hope you like my boxing analogies. Anyway, so you're probably thinking now, okay, 90% on skills, 10% on sons, but what do you mean by skills? And that's what I'm gonna cover with you right now. Um, what I mean by skills is, I call them the five fundamentals. So if you're familiar with me, you know that I go by the, the, the I start beginners off with something called the five fundamentals of guitar. And those five things are the five skills that you need to start off playing guitar. And that's picking, chords, arpeggios, scales, and strumming. Now, the best way to start is you start, I, I've got a YouTube video on it, but you start off your picking with open strings and doing different picking combinations. That's down, up, down, down on one string and down on one string, up on another, etc, etc. And then you start off with your chords by doing one finger chords, not three finger chords that most guitar people teach. So you do your one finger chords. And then what you do is you do your um, three string arpeggios. Then you do three string scales. And then of course strumming patterns for a beginner would be a quarter note strumming. Now if you can't do all those five things, um, those are the five areas you need to work on right now. And I always tell my students, um, pick two skills every single day and um, practice those skills. 10 minutes each skill, okay? Once you've got past that first stage of doing the one finger chords, doing the three string scales, the three string arpeggios, then you can start increasing the skill level. Then you can start doing two finger chords, then you can start doing uh, five string scales and uh, five string arpeggios. But you shouldn't, an eighth note strumming, but you shouldn't start out like that from knowing nothing. Okay, so it's, it's all about building your skills. Now, if you take this approach of doing 90% on skills and those particular skills that I'm talking about, this is a disclaimer. I mean, you should not be thinking about palm muting uh, as a beginner or string bending, legato, sweet picking, any of that. Those are all advanced stuff and before you even think about them, you need your foundations down. And the foundations of guitar is picking chords, arpeggio scales and strumming. So that's to build a solid foundation. You go through from one finger chords, two finger chords, you land at three finger chords and still it's not easy but it, at least um, you've built some skill up beforehand and when you tackle those three finger chords you should be able to play them providing that you've been practicing every day consistently yeah because I can teach you the skills but you need to repeat them consistently and play them uh, every day that's how you get good at any skill set not just guitar so how long does it take for a beginner to start playing some songs? Because you're thinking, okay, but if I just keep playing skills, of course, 
you know, it's going to bore me a bit. And yeah, and, and I want to be playing the songs that I'm hearing, the Beatles or uh, even just some pop songs, John Mayer, whatever. You want to be playing those, and I understand that. So typically, I say you need to commit first to guitar. Um, once you make the commitment to, to get good at it, then you, you schedule, I, I give my students a schedule, which is basically you practice skill one uh, for 10 minutes, skill two for 10 minutes, and then you end your practice on a one string riff or a, a tiny song, maybe happy birthday, maybe uh, Ode to Joy, something like that. How long it takes, uh, I've had some students where it takes six weeks to learn the skills and I've had students where it's taken 12 weeks so I would say 8 to 12 weeks it would take for you to build the skills so you're playing three finger chords um, you're doing arpeggios on six strings five strings and four strings you're playing scales on all six strings I would say it takes six to twelve weeks of consistent practice okay and that's half an hour every day so it takes that long to to get the skills or shall we say the fundamentals of guitar and then from there you can start to actually once you get to that that week the final week where you're playing those three finger chords the funny thing is is instead of just learning that one song because you focused on the skills you can play loads of different songs because you've got the skills down okay that's why I believe learning the skills of guitar, learning the fundamentals of guitar is far superior to just learning songs and learning the skills as you play the songs. Okay. Um, so, so definitely. And, and I, I've seen guitarists who, like, if you find yourself struggling with a lot of songs, so, you know, you're struggling with... You're basically, you're learning son after son after son and generally people who don't have a solid foundation of guitar and haven't bothered practicing the skills, this is typically what happens. They start learning one son, they can play kind of one section roughly, but then the next section of the son they can't play and it takes them a lot longer to actually play it. Um, they have a lot of inconsistency so they might be able to play let's say Sweet Home Alabama the intro well without that um, they might be able to play the intro Sweet Home Alabama but maybe five times out of ten times so half the time that they play it maybe they keep hitting the wrong strings Again, that's not because they haven't practiced the song enough. Generally, that's because they haven't built up the skills. Uh huh. So, if you find yourself basically struggling and always being inconsistent with when you're playing a song, it's because you don't have, you haven't built up the skills, and it doesn't feel good, especially if you're performing. If you're performing and you haven't even built up the skills to play a song you feel nervous, you feel anxious, you feel like, oh, what if I mess it up? And yeah, it just helps. You gain so much more confidence when you learn the skills of guitar rather than playing these songs and trying to learn skills that way. So I hope that that part of the podcast has been useful for you to understand. Um, I'm extremely passionate about this because I see so many YouTube videos on um, yeah play if you just play these chords you can play this on this on and this on if you just strum the guitar like this you can play this 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 and I, I, I don't think they emphasize enough with beginner guitarists because um, I've taught a lot of beginner guitarists and yeah when you teach beginner guitarists just strum like this just play this chord for them it's so unknown it's so hard yeah I guess with a language it's like it's like learning a language by by um, out of a phrase book instead of understanding the grammar understanding where each word comes from and things like that it's like 
yeah, let's just learn this language by teaching you sentences. Whereas really, if you teach me the words and how to form sentences, um, I'm gonna feel more confident in that language. Exactly the same with guitar. Um, build up the skills so you can start playing uh, your favorite songs. And yeah, so I, I aim for each of these podcasts to be, you know, 20 minutes to half an hour. And, and they're gonna be about a Pacific topic. So today was the 90-10, 90% focusing on skills and 10% on songs. And I wanna be doing very focused Pacific topics. I don't want this to be a general podcast, just random about, uh, you know, one week it's 80s pop music and the next week it's um, guitar. I want it to be very specific and focused. So definitely, if you've got any ideas, uh, feel free to send me an email at thalliwellguitar at gmail.com about what you would like me to speak about. I've already got a list of ideas, which I'm going to do, but I like to hear other people's and especially your feedback. Um, my YouTube channel is blowing up, as I said, so I'll be releasing a lot of videos of, about that. So you can follow me on YouTube at Tom Halliwell. Um, I'm on Twitter now. I don't really know how to use it, but I'm trying my best. Uh, T Halliwell 93 and Instagram too at T Halliwell 93. So that was podcast three, the 9010. Um, if you're a beginner, let's end it with some actionable steps. If you are a beginner, and maybe you've dabbled in guitar a tiny bit. Learn skills, and this is what you're gonna do. You're going to write out every day, you're gonna write out picking, chords, arpeggio, scales, and strumming. With the picking, you're gonna do on your string number six, which is the E string, you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, once you're comfortable with that, you're gonna go down on string six, up on string five, down on string six, up on string five. When you're comfortable with that, you're gonna be up on string six, down on string five, up on string six, down on string five. When you're comfortable with that, you're gonna be going down on string six, down on string five, down on string six, down on string five. And the last exercise is gonna be up string five, up string six, up on string five, up on string six. Um, I will be releasing a book called The Five Fundamentals of Guitar very, very soon, so stay tuned for that and that will have all these uh, exercises in there. With the chords, you want to start with a one finger chord, so that's playing a, a one finger C major, go online and you'll find it, or a one finger G7 and a one finger G. So learn those three chords first for the chords uh, part of your practice. For the arpeggios, you want to go down on string three, down on string two, up on string one, up on string two. Um, that's how you're going to practice your arpeggios. Uh, for scales, you're going to learn the three string C major scale, uh, basically zero, two on string three, zero, one, three on string two, and zero, one, three on string one. And then after that, you're going to do some quarter note strumming. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, that's strumming down on each beat. And then you're gonna miss out beat one and strum down on two, three, four. Miss out beat two, strum down on one, three, and four. Um, but yeah, definitely hit my YouTube channel. I think I've got some tutorials of all that stuff. And there's more to come. So that's my advice for you beginner guitarists out there. If you, you wanna learn the fundamentals, uh, start with those five. And um, Increase your skill so you can start playing your favorite songs. Ta-da for now. Um, I'm off today to uh, basically go home, record some song I've been working on, which is exciting stuff. Um, this podcast will be on iTunes uh, when I release it. And then I'm going to have one podcast every single week. So thanks for the support. Thanks for the subscribers on YouTube. I forgot to mention that, but I've shot from 80 to 115. So thank you all for uh, following me. 
And until next week, practice, play guitar, and rock out. <laughs>